division of two, three, and four digit numbers by one digit number. Today, let us revise division of two, three, and four digit numbers by a one digit number. Let us start with the division of a two digit number by a one digit number. We shall divide 58 by 3. Let us use the five steps to simple division and solve the problem. Step 1 is to compare the digits. We start with comparing the leftmost digit of the dividend, that is 5 with the divisor 3. 5 is greater than 3 and therefore we can divide 5 by 3. Step 2 is doing the division. Here, as the divisor is 3, we use the table of 3 to find a product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digit of the dividend, that is 5. The nearest product is 3. Hence, we write 1 above 5 in quotient. Step 3 is to multiply. As we know, 1 into 3 is equal to 3. We write the number 3 in the tens column under 5. Step 4 is to subtract 3 from 5, which is equal to 2. Now, step 5 is to bring down the next digit, that is 8. Now, we shall repeat steps 1 to 5 till there are no more digits to bring down. So, here we again compare 28 and 3. Here, 28 is greater than 3. So, we can divide 28 by 3. Now, again, using the table of 3s, find the product which is equal to or less than and nearest to 28. The nearest product is 27. So, we write 9 above the 8 in quotient. As we know, 3 into 9 is equal to 27. Write the number 27 under 28. Next, subtract 27 from 28, which is equal to 1. Now, as there are no more digits to bring down, we have finished our division. Here, the quotient is 19 and remainder is 1. Do you know? We can also check our calculation. All we need to do is use the following relation. Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. That is, dividend is equal to 19 into 3 plus 1, which is equal to 57 plus 1 is equal to 58. Isn't it interesting? The answer we get is the dividend itself, that is 58. Now we will solve an example of division of a three-digit number by a one-digit number. Let us find out the quotient for 937 divided by 
2. Firstly, compare the digits. We compare the leftmost digit of the dividend 9 with the divisor 2. 9 is greater than 2 and therefore we can divide 9 by 2. Here we use the table of 2 to find a product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digit 9. So, the nearest product is 8. Hence, we write 4 above 9 in the quotient. As we know, 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We write the number 8 in the hundreds column under 9. Step 4 is to subtract 8 from 9, which is equal to 1. Now bring down the next digit, that is 3. After bringing down the digit, we repeat steps 1 to 5. So here we compare 13 and 2. Here 13 is greater than 2. So, we can divide 13 by 2. Again, use the table of 2 to find the product which is equal to or less than and nearest to 13. The nearest product is 12. So, we write 6 above the 3 in quotient. As we know, 2 into 6 is equal to 12. Write the number 12 under 13. Next, subtract 12 from 13, which is equal to 1. Lastly, bring down the next digit, that is 7. So, here we now compare 17 and 2. Here, 17 is greater than 2. So, we can divide 17 by 2. Once again, using the table of 2, we find that the product equal to or less than and nearest to 17 is 16. So, we write 8 above the 7. As we know, 2 into 8 is equal to 16. Write the number 16 under 17. Next, subtract 16 from 17, which is equal to 1. Now, as there are no more digits to bring down, we have finished our division. We get the quotient as 468 and the remainder as 1. Next is the division of a four-digit number by a one-digit number. Here, we will divide 2000 378 by 6. Let us start comparing the first digit 2 and divisor 6. Look, 2 is smaller than 6. There are not enough thousands. So, now compare the hundreds. We have enough hundreds as 23 is greater than 6 and therefore we divide 23 by 6. Here the divisor is 6. The nearest product is 18. Hence we write 3 
above 3. As we know, 6 into 3 is equal to 18, which is nearest to 23. We write the number 18 under 23. Now, subtract 18 from 23, which is equal to 5. Now, bring down the next digit, that is 7. So, here now we compare 57 and 6. Here, 57 is greater than 6. So, we can divide 57 by 6. The nearest product is 54. So, we write 9 above the 7. As we know, 9 into 6 is equal to 54. Write the number 54 under 57. Next, subtract 54 from 57, which is equal to 3. Now, bring down the next digit, that is 8. Here, we compare 38 and 6. 38 is greater than 6. So, divide 38 by 6. The nearest product is 36. So, we write 6 above the 8. As we know, 6 into 6 is equal to 36. Write the number 36 under 38. Next, subtract 36 from 38, which is equal to 2. So, here we got the quotient as 396 and the remainder as 2. Hope it was fun revising division of 2, 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit number.